Good morning. <clears throat> what we provide at uh, Cavern is uh, continuous security, not only assessment, but remediation across hybrid environments. And this is unique with organizations moving from on-prem data centers to a multi-cloud paradigm. So what I'm going to discuss over the next few minutes is why this is critical in today's IT environment and how we uniquely do it. Just as an intro, select customers span some of the well-known SaaS companies, including those in the financial sector, uh, medical industry, um, places where data is critical and the protection of data is critical. And if you heard Draper earlier this morning, one of the statements was, well, some of these industries are ripe for innovation. And what we bring to them is that innovation. Our uh, management advisory team, uh, well-known people in security, cloud, big data analytics, some of our advisors include uh, Tahir Algamal, also known as uh, father of SSL, uh, Isaac Mutlu, who is a uh, former CISO over at Salesforce, and also um, Adam uh, Showstep, well-known in the threat intelligence and black hat communities. So what are the challenges? Why is this essential? Well, with organizations moving more and more of their critical workloads into the cloud service providers, they need to understand their security baseline across this hybrid environment. They need to automatically apply best practices. The issue is that today's solutions don't scale. They're either deployed in, in stovepipes where it's almost like a swivel chair with conflicting guidance. Uh, they have manual processes. Some people are still using spreadsheets and since they can't hire a million people, sometimes they just don't do it. And then last but not least, lots of things are just point in time. And we know in a dynamic environment, especially when you start deploying containers, which I'll talk about, things can get out of compliance in a matter of seconds. We need to rectify that. <clears throat> What we need is a foundational approach that spans these multiple environments, goes from the cloud service providers to the existing on-prem data centers and also to the endpoints, either with Kevin directly speaking to these endpoints or through partners that I'll talk about. Ultimately, what we have to enable is automated one-button assessment of the horizontal workload security posture and we need to have single-touch remediation and orchestration of that remediation. Technological advantages that our solution brings to the table includes the ability to reduce the attack surface across multiple cloud service providers simultaneously. We use the term OS hardening. We are minimizing breaches in the various operating systems handling the workloads and that's enabled by continuous visibility we need to immediately detect and correct the configuration from the baseline, and this is what the continuous analysis brings to the table. An agentless architecture ensures that it's really minimal touch in a very secure way of talking to the workloads. You need an API-first architecture that really talks to DevOps, DevSecOps, and brings in an ecosystem of other vendors that can help build a correlated risk score that I'll talk about. And last but not least, you need a solution that can be deployed on-prem, can be deployed in the cloud operators, and also can be offered as SaaS. We do all three. So ultimately, we have the only solution offering a single end-to-end -end viewpoint. From discovery, using patented algorithms that we brought in originally from Bell Labs, through applying the various benchmarks and policy frameworks against the different workloads, then doing a set of tests and once again you send it out and it goes across the different environments and returns a set of correlated assessments that don't conflict with each other that for the first time say well what happened on google cloud what happened on amazon or azure or on-prem i have the single view that i can now make sense of this sense is occurring across multiple verticals once again, the verticals where data is important, the integrity of the data is important, and especially if they're in a regulated environment. And once again, we have deep partnerships with the three leading cloud service providers. So what are key elements of intellectual property? One, we've developed APIs that allow us to talk to the insides of the various cloud service providers and normalize the data we're getting from them so we can do this correlation of the risk analysis that I spoke of. Second, if you look at the container environment, there's sometimes people jokingly say that container security, it's an oxymoron. 
And that's changing with what emphasis we've placed on what we call life, uh, life cycle so, uh, container security that not only looks at image scanning, basically what happens in the DevOps, the CI CD process when you're bringing images into your environment. Second, when you're actually deploying them in containers and running the various benchmarks against bare metal, against a virtualized environment, and against the container workloads themselves. And third, more and more organizations are introducing orchestration, and our first capabilities in this space are against uh, Kubernetes. And then last but not least, what we can do with what we call a risk signaling engine, this is an open set of APIs that allow us to build an ecosystem of companies that we cooperate with that can bring in various signals, as I call them, their risk posturing to allow IT to have a more integrated, horizontal view of their enterprise-wide risk posture. So thank you very much. And for those interested in uh, speaking in detail or seeing a live demo, we're downstairs in booth 608.